Patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. Oh, hi! What's up, everybody? It's just your neighborhood, Zach from Switch Force, trying to be patient as we wait for the next update, all right? But today I've got some awesome new goodies for all of you. We got so much stuff to talk about today, it's juicier than a boba pearl, all right? We're talking about secret updates, we're talking about new merch, we're talking about info collapse and more, so get your butts ready. So what's going on, everybody? Hey, it's Agnes Wish for us. Smash that like button and let me know in the comments down below what you're thinking about this stuff. Are you still playing Animal Crossing? I want to know because I am and I've got a full list to go through. So we're going to get to something really important right off the bat. All right. The emoji are coming. Quite literally, because today's video is brought to you by Disney Emoji Blitz, an amazingly fun and strategic match three mobile game available on iOS and Android. I need you to click the link in the description down below and download the game, okay? Because each time you do, it helps the channel out and I've got three Amazon gift cards to give away, all right? And all you have to do is download the game, reach level 15, and then send me a screenshot and you will be entered. They're doing amazing things right now. They just added Baby Pegasus. You can use the emoji in your text chat. They're bringing in new ones from Pocahontas and Little Mermaid soon. And they've even got this Ultimate Princess Celebration token quest going on all month where you can collect some of the cutest emoji I've ever seen. And they each have their own unique special power. Up. So whether you're a fan of the princesses or the villains, make sure to click the link in the description down below to grab the game today. I'd super appreciate it if you did. And there's three Amazon gift cards up for grabs and tons of awesome emoji to collect. It's here. It's time. It's divine. And it is... Ba -ba -ba -bum. It's the Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake of ACNH. Cucumber horse and eggplant cow. These items are so fine. Oh my god. Gosh, I can't even look at him without feeling the shine. Look at these two dudes, or maybe two girls. I can't even quite tell. These vegetables, they're more like pearls. I could sell them for a milli, a bell pack or two. Give them to Tom Nook, and he'll make me island stew. I just love both these things. They dropped in the game. They're there now. You can grab them. Uh, but I also want to talk to you guys about a lot of other interesting things that have developed. Um, we are waiting for the next big update, right? I really appreciated the last update. If you didn't see my video on 1.11.1, you gotta check it out. Me and Kix were kicking it with all sorts of freaking sweet bug fixes. They actually made the game a lot better just by correcting stuff that they screwed up. It was a needed update, it was an unexpected one, and it was a fun little addition as we wait for the big content pack, which we're getting closer to September day by day. So while uh, my man Marshall sips on his orange creamsicle soda, I'm thinking that that thing is coming maybe sooner than we expect, but let me know in those comments down below when you think that next update is going to drop, all right? I'm thinking I'm thinking they announced it at the Direct, which I'm pegging for like the second week of September, all right? That's what I'm thinking right now, but one thing I am also thinking is about collabs. Y'all may know that there is a Pokemon Presents next Wednesday, all right? This is dropping August 18th, and we love Sanrio, right? Everybody that loves Sanrio, maybe you didn't love the way Target rolled it out, but you love Sanrio. And then we also love the Mario items. I feel like Nintendo would love to do more of that. And I think it's an easy way for them to really bring attention to AC. I wonder if they do something with Pokemon. All right, they've done Zelda in the past. They've done Monster Hunter. But with Pokemon celebrating its 25th anniversary this year, and with a big presentation scheduled for next Wednesday, 28 minutes of footage, could we see some cool Pokemon collabs coming to AC? Imagine a set of Pokemon items and furniture that would be so fun for this game. All right, you've seen the Sanrio furniture, you know how cute it can be. But imagine Pikachu and Charmander themed furniture. Or they've been doing a lot with Piplup as of late. What if it was Piplup themed? That would be so cool, right? Or if they wanted to get, you know, kind of crazy, throw some Bidoof in there, right? Maybe they want to throw some Eevee in there. It could be really, really cool. I think costumes as well, like headwear, like an Eevee hat and a Pikachu hat would be brilliant. Would you go Gaga for all that goodness? Let me know. I think that would be amazing. I'd love to see it. Um, it made me think of this one collab that they did, and this was actually posted by Kit Me Not over on Twitter. I want to give you a peek at this. Back in the day, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp did a Splatoon 2 crossover. All right, they had some pretty sick stuff. Like, it was like the Splatoon, like just the patterns all over, the paint, the ink all over. Um, they had all these different hats and gears and outfits from Splatoon. Like, it legit looked like stuff that could have been in the game. I hope that we get something of this sort 
for Splatoon 3, all right? That game, as we know, is being worked on by similar staff as Animal Crossing New Horizons, so it makes a lot of sense. There have been Splatoon villagers in New Leaf, and I think it would just be fantastic to see a scene like this in New Horizons. Now, Splatoon 3 is not coming till 2022, and we don't know when exactly, but I'm thinking that probably like an April or May game, it seems like that's when it would release. We should see more on Splatoon 3 at the September Direct, the next one coming up. Maybe they'll announce something there, or maybe they will save it for closer release. Either way, I do hope we get some new collabs soon. I think it's a great way to just spice up the game, and it really makes it feel like Animal Crossing New Horizons is a living, breathing world. And when you don't have a ton of new updates and new NPCs, that's something great that you can do to really spice things up. There's also been a secret update that Nintendo did on the down low. It's a little one, but they didn't tell anybody that this was happening. They just made it work on their own. They didn't post about it in the patch notes. And I got to give a shout out to Crossing Channel because he's actually the only person, I think, that figured this out. Plus, he's got a nice voice. But apparently, there was this problem running for months now where villagers were disappearing. Did any of you have this? Like, sometimes your villagers could appear in the museum. And so if they weren't anywhere to be found on the island, that's where you assumed they were. But there was this glitch in the game since April where the villagers were not popping up in the museum. Now, if you didn't even know villagers could go in the museum, I'd understand because it's a rare occurrence. But yeah, villagers could show up in the museum and they have interesting dialogue while inside. But a bug was affecting the game where your villagers could just be totally missing in action. They would not be in their house, they would not be on the island, and they weren't popping in the museum where they were supposed to be. Well, it looks like in 1.11, Nintendo did in fact fix this issue and now villagers can reappear in the museum. It seems like the spawn rate has decreased even lower than before, and it's super rare to find a villager in the museum looking at the exhibits, which makes it even more of a special occurrence. But I thought that was really neat, and it just goes to show you that Nintendo is actively working on this game, right? Even when it seems like they're not, they did bring a bunch of bug fixes with the latest update, and they are even, when they don't tell us, working on things to make this game as good as it can be. So that gives me a lot of hope going forward that their promises of new and exciting content, activities, and future updates later in the year really is going to pan out. Plus, with all of the lovely data mines we've seen in terms of our boy Brewster popping up, it looks like it's going to be a good fall for Animal Crossing fans, and uh, it's also going to be a good time at the museum. You might be getting ready for back to school or back to work, or just, you know, you're ready for new merch. And Animal Crossing New Horizons has had quite a bit of good stuff. Although I feel like we've been in a bit of a drought. There has been, you know, the Monopoly release. There has been a calendar I showed you guys, although I believe that was delayed. There was a manga that's supposed to come in September. Um, but this one right here is interesting. This is Nintendo actually made this video themselves. And I wanted to highlight a couple items. Um, they posted this just recently and they were going over back to school gear from Animal Crossing. They had some really cute mini backpacks that you guys might want to check out. But one thing I love that I've never seen before, this, this planner is really cool. I like that a lot, but this is what I wanted. Look at this. Check this out. I don't know what company this is from. Maybe you guys can tell. Do you see the logo? It's like a fork and a knife. They don't say in the video what it's from, and I'm trying to read the tag, but it's a lunchbox. It's an insulated lunchbox, and I just think that pattern design is so sick. Like, I love the black and kind of like, they're almost like muted color tones or like, I guess it's single color tone characters, but KK, Nook, Isabel, you got Blathers there looking really good, Timmy and Tommy, and I just love this color scheme insulated lunchbox, but it doesn't say who it's from. It's Nintendo in partnership with somebody world. You can see it says like something world on the tag. You guys know where this is from? Oh, do we get a quick blip? Yeah, I can't quite see, but it looks awesome. I love this thing so much. And then as we scroll through, um, there's some other gear. We get to see these guys as kids. Um, this backpack is really fun. I've seen this one before though. It allows you to store pins or um, little buttons on the inside because it has a clear uh, little spot blotch there, which I think is really cool. More pins that we've seen. Um, we've seen this set before. There's a few other things I want to point out though for you. Um, they do have these keychains. Now I have seen some of these before, but I've never seen the Celeste one. And that Celeste one looks sick. I like that a lot. That's perfect for my keyring. Honestly, I love that it's big and chunky and I love that it's the in-game art style. Like it really looks like it could be from the game. I've seen the leaf one, but I've never seen Celeste. I like it with the gold chain. They also have these little um, sticky flags for like marking your books or just marking your place. And then they also have this um, set of post-its that are turnip based. They've got this little like, uh, what do you call this? Like a clutch, is that what it's called? Um, 
I have no use for that. But these journals are very fun. I've seen them before, but I just wanted to point them out to you. Um, and then I also like, they've got the pillows, which we've seen many times. But these, the, uh, the turnip post-it notes, I think are really cool. My recommendations here, I like the journals. I like the post-it notes. I like the, the lunchbox a ton. I think that's like absolutely cool. Um, there's also some water bottles. The billionaire water bottle is pretty darn fun. And then they go into some other stuff. But I just thought that was interesting and neat to point out um, because a lot of you might be looking for gear to get ready for school, get ready for work, or help your kids get ready, help your little siblings get ready either way. Um, we did get a new update lately, but I feel like it's burned out. I made a video kind of like, hey, are you done with the Animal Crossing 1.11 update? And now it's been another week or two. And so I'd really love to know, are you guys done with the Animal Crossing update 1.11 because I feel like I have gotten just about everything I can get out of it. Um, the Halloween items are cool. By the way, I've seen a number of people say like, where are the Halloween items? If you don't have them yet, you have to be in October. So you're gonna have the time travel to October if you want to grab those. Now, what you don't have to time travel for is a little bit of a look at Nookazon. Now, I thought this was fun. We've never really talked about, talked about Nookazon on the channel, but I wanted to bring this up to see who the most expensive villagers were at this point in the game. And it's surprisingly or not surprisingly the same list that maybe you've come to expect. It's Raymond, Judy, Marshall, Lucky, and Sherb as your top five with Anka, Audi, and Kabuki actually rounding out the top eight. Now, if we go a little bit lower, you're going to see Coco, Dom, Molly, and Bob. And that's going to be like the average most expensive villagers on Nookazon. I know, I know Nookazon isn't like the best representative of the game, but it's the closest thing like we have in terms of like how I can tell what villagers are most sought after. And it's interesting to me that it's kind of been the same. I wondered if maybe some Sanrio villagers would pop here, um, but they really haven't, I guess because they're easy to get if you have the cards. I thought though the fact that they do cost would have upped their value. Now I thought it was also interesting to check what kind of furniture is most wanted right now. And this, this blew my mind. The Pagoda is the number one item right now. And then it's the Grand Hercules model, Stonehenge, Giant Trevally model, Saddle the Bashir model, Robot Hero Black, Suckerfish model, and Napoleon Fish. Kind of interesting, right? Um, the item that I really like is the doll model plane right here. It's averaging a million bells uh, for the sale. You can also see a few other things. You got the Statue of Liberty, the Sphinx, the Scarab Beetle. Um, but I thought this was just interesting just to kind of take a peek at where sort of the market was at for items and villagers. And, and maybe, you, maybe you disagree, maybe you feel similar, but this is what... This is what the market is apparently saying are the big ticket items. There you have it, my friends, a whirlwind tour of a whole bunch of new Animal Crossing information for all of you. Let me know if you're going to pick up any of that cute stuff, the mini backpacks, the lunchbox, some of the post-it notes, or maybe a journal. Also, are you fingers crossed for a new collaboration? Pokemon, Zelda, Splatoon, what would you like to see most? Combine with Animal Crossing for extra cuteness. And then let me know if you noticed that museum glitch where villagers were just mysteriously disappearing. All right, I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching and being a part of our awesome AC family here. You know I got you covered and posted when anything goes down with AC. Even when the cucumber horse and the eggplant cow. Materialize. I got you covered. I always got you covered. I love you a lot. I appreciate you. Thanks so much. Have a fantastic day. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. And until next time, my wonderful friends, Switch Force, out.